हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू आर जे लर्निंग फन हेयर लर्निंग इज ऑलवेज फन डियर स्टूडेंट लेट्स टेक अ क्लोजर लुक एट दीज टू सेट्स ऑफ वर्ड ही हैन आई इट गो गॉट इन द फर्स्ट सेट ऑफ वर्ड द वाउ साउंड इज लॉ द वाउज आर सेंग देयर लेटर नेम्स लाइक ही ई आई गो ओ बट इन द सेकेंड सेट द वाउ लेटर्स आर सेम But the vowel sound is short, like hen, e, it, e, got, o. The reason behind this lies in the syllable type of words. The first set represents the example of open syllables, whereas the second set consists of closed syllables. And that is our today's topic: types of syllables. Dear students, recognizing the correct syllable type will help you to make correct vowel sound, and thus it will improve your reading and writing skills. In our previous video, we have learned in detail what are syllables and how can we count syllables in a word. And today we will learn the six syllable types. The closed syllable, a syllable in which a single vowel is followed by a consonant, is called Closed syllable, the vowel says it short vowel sound. This type of syllable is represented by the sign V C with A. Here V stand for vowel, C stand for consonant, and this short A represents the short vowel sound of the vowel. So whenever you see in a word a consonant just after the vowel, remember the vowel will produce its short vowel sound, like in words cat. after a vowel there is t consonant that's why the sound of a is short that is a sip e vc combination i is a vowel p is a consonant shed e vowel and after the vowel there is a d consonant that's why the sound of e is short so in syllables it is important what is the sound of the vowels because we divide the word according to the vowels the number of vowel sound is equal to number of syllables in a word second type of syllable is open syllable a syllable ending with a single vowel is called open syllable the vowel says its long vowel sound and this type of syllable is represented by only v only vowel no consonant to stop the sound and this dash represents the long vowel sound of the word so whenever the vowel is alone means after the vowel there is no consonant then after e no consonant is there that's why e is making its long vowel sound e not a hi i long vowel sound after i there is no consonant so o long vowel sound after o there is no consonant so just remember like a open and close gate if the consonant is there means that the gate is closed that's why the vowel will say its short vowel sound and if after vowel no consonant is there means the gate is open so the vowel will make its long vowel sound third type of syllable magic e a syllable with a vowel consonant and silent e pattern is called magic e syllable the vowel says its long vowel sound and it is represented by this v c and silent e combination and v vowel on the vowel there is a dash means vowel will make its long vowel sound c means consonant and this e is cut means e will be there but e will not make any sound it will be a silent e let's see some examples pi i is a vowel n is a consonant and this e is a magic e or silent e e is not making any sound we will not say it piney it is pine i long vowel sound flute u vowel t consonant and after t there is e so e will give its power to u and u will make its long vowel sound they it will say its letter name u not a so this is flute cake again vowel consonant and silent e combination that's why a is making its long vowel sound dear students if you want to know more about magic keywords then please do click this link this is the link of my previous video where i have told the story of magic e and the five fantastic vowels 
I will leave the link also in the description box. This is vowel team syllable. A syllable in which two vowels come together to make long sound or new vowel sound is called vowel team syllable. Now here you will see two type of vowel teams. First one is here. When two vowels go walking, first one does the talking. You can see the symbol 2V means two vowels are there and the first vowel is having the dash on it. That's why the sound of first vowel will be long and the second vowel will remain silent. Let's see some words. Beat, E-A vowel team combination. A is silent and E is making its long vowel sound. Ring, A-I combination. A is making its long vowel sound and I is silent. Play. A-Y combination. Y is also semi-vowel. A is making its long vowel sound and Y is silent. Moon. Double O. Two vowels. So they will make long sound. Moon. Second type of vowel team is V-V where the vowels, two vowels will come together and they will make a new sound like in words foil. O and I are making the sound oil. These type of vowel combinations or vowel team combinations are called diphthongs. Owl, O, W are making the sound ow. Cloud, O, U, two vowels are there and they are making the sound ow. To know more about these vowel teams, please do check the description box. I have already made detailed video on vowel digraphs and diphthongs. Next syllable is R control syllable. A syllable in which the vowel or vowels is followed by the letter R is called R control syllable. The vowel sound is controlled by bossy R. Here the vowel sound is neither long nor short but it is controlled by bossy R and this type of syllable is represented by VR vowel and R combination. For example, look at the word barn. Here the A is not making its long or short but the different sound that is R, bar, board. When R comes with vowel O, they make the sound OR. Bird, earth, fern, earth. Click the link to know more about R control vowels word. Now sixth and final type of syllable is consonant plus LE. Our final syllable with consonant and LE combination is called C plus LE syllable. There is a chwa sound between the two consonants and the letter E is silent. So what is this chwa sound? A slight a uh sound is called chwa sound between the two consonant. Consonant means C and L. These two are consonants and between C and L there is a light a uh sound. Look at example. This is bubble. It is a two syllabic word. Bubble. The first syllable is close syllable and second is consonant plus LE. Here B is consonant and between B and L there is a light a uh sound. Bull. Bubble. 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 Circle. Again, two syllabic word. Circle. Here, first syllable is I and R. Vowel plus R combination. So, this is R control syllable. And second is consonant plus LE. C L E. Cull. Sir. Cull. Third one. This is K bull. First syllable is after A, there is no consonant. So, this type of syllable is open syllable. So, first syllable is open syllable and second syllable is consonant plus LE. Here, what is the consonant? B, B and then LE combination. So, it is bull. J, bull. Let's see how knowing the six syllable types will help you to read and write a word accurately. This is a syllable division worksheet and the first word is painter. Now divide this word into syllable. It's a two syllabic word and the first syllable is vowel team. When two vowels go walking, first one does the talking. 
so the first vowel a is long vowel sound and second is r control so pain to second is three syllabic word first syllable is close syllable ok second is open syllable to third is again close syllable so ok to pus three syllabic word again to ma to so all three syllables are open syllable that's why long vowel sound so you can pronounce it tomato or tomato not tomato elephant we'll break it into syllables three syllabic word first is close syllable l second is open syllable that's why e will make its long sound e fent again close syllable fent l e fent elephant and next is ab so lute first is close syllable ab so open syllable o lute vowel consonant and silent e combination that's why u is making its long sound lute ab so lute absolute and last word is vowel close syllable nur r control vowel a open syllable bul c plus l e vowel nur v plus r a open syllable and bul c plus l e combination so this is vowel nur a bul vulnerable thanks for watching the video hope you must have enjoyed this new concept of syllable division see you soon with my next video till then bye take care thank you